A day has passed since the fight. We are so curious to find out how things have developed in that overly disputed area. As we reach the top of the ridge, we quickly get down. We saw the hinds first and laid down, but shortly after, they got our wind and descended in the thickets from below. We also hear roars close by. What a shame. We missed our chance to observe the dominant stag of this area. We continue our hike. Further uphill, I set my camera trap in another dominant stag's area. It's quiet, but I take a look around just to be sure. To my surprise, I spot some hinds and the dominant stag. But the hinds seem to be coming in our direction. We grit our teeth, hoping they won't notice us. We successfully get behind a small mound and wait, ready to film some action. There are actually three hinds and a calf. The stag starts roaring toward one of his rivals and two or three more stags join the concert. The hinds are coming closer and closer, so it's just a matter of time until the stag comes before us, or so we thought. From nowhere, we hear human voices and all the deer in the area become silent again, retreating to safer places. We can't believe how unlucky we are. It's the second time today that we failed to film a dominant stag that was very close to us. It seems that our luck has run out after the last visit when we filmed the battle. But there's one more place to visit, our real destination for the day. We choose to continue our hike through unknown territory and we take advantage of a quite used wildlife trail to advance more easily. After a steep climb, we finally arrive at our destination. We take a look toward the place of the battle and surely enough, we spot him. The new king of the valley is still reigning. Surrounding him, there are at least three mature hinds and a calf. It seems that he kept all three of the hinds that he fought so hard for. But something doesn't add up. None of his hinds from a couple of days ago had a calf. Hmm, might actually be a new hind. Interesting development. He enters the woods with his hinds, but there's still something interesting to see downhill. The cheeky young stag from last time. There's a small hind near him. Certainly an immature one. Somewhere close, there's another hind, and this one has a calf. Has this hind already been in Estrus? There's certainly no strong bull following her. It starts to rain. Also, an unending fog starts rising from the valley, blocking our view. There's a stag roaring just downhill from us, but the rain and the fog are practically sending us home. My clothes and my equipment are all wet. I start to climb towards our usual return path when suddenly I see movement before me and I stop. It's a hind. She saw me and runs back. But there's a stag with her. I try to take another video of the stag. It's actually a beautiful 7x7 stag. What a surprise. I definitely have to take a closer look at this stack sometime. From the valley, 
Adrian starts calling desperately for me. He saw the former dominant stag, and he was marching toward his former rutting spot. I descend quickly and spot him as he approaches his rival, but the fog totally blocks our view. We hear roars for a few minutes and then we get a short window through the fog and see him again, but he's not advancing. He's just roaring from below, not daring to fight the dominant stag, who's not even bothered by his presence. I look at the former king pensively as he disappears in the fog and think to myself, Oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs>